Hey guys, it's us again, and we love movies. Yo. Hello. Hi. Tonight's feature is a special request from one of our subscribers. So Ryan, this one's going out to you, buddy. What movie? Tonight, we're watching Sylvester Stallone in Cobra. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So, punch it, Stallone. Hey, yo. And now, tonight's feature presentation. Cobra is loosely based on the Paula Gosling novel A Running Duck, which was then retitled to Fair Game, and then retitled to Cobra. It's made by the Cannon Group, and you know that means quality. LA is ridden with crime from a group of psychopaths called the New World, led by the Night Slasher. These nutjobs rob, rape, and kill. And they love getting together and banging their axes together. We meet our hero, Lieutenant Cobretti, part of an elite police squad known as the Zombie Squad. Now, I'll tell you what. He doesn't fuck around when it comes to crime. In the opening scene, he rescues hostages from a supermarket takeover by the New World. And we see that Cobra does not play by the rules and loves one-liners. I'll blow this whole place up! Go ahead. I don't shock her. <laughs> well, the Night Stalkers kill another person, but this one is witnessed by supermodel White the Ivan Drago in Grid. Well, now the bad guys are hunting her down, and Cobra and his partners plan to hide her out of town for her protection. However, there is corruption in the police force. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's her! And she tips off the bad guys to where Ingrid and Cobra are. And now it's a showdown between Cobra and the New World, who are really the stupidest bad guys ever. Which, of course, ends in the obligatory 1980s abandoned warehouse. In a final fight between Cobra and the Night Slasher. And to squeeze out just a couple more one-liners. And this explosive 80s drenched action movie, Cobra. The room is a cop called Cobra. The strong arm of the law. Now it's time for the trivia question we never asked. The answer? Billy D. Williams. So that was Cobra. And a funny story, Sylvester Stallone was cast in, and wanted to be, in Beverly Hills Cop. What? Yeah, that movie. But he wanted to make it more of a serious drama, a big action movie. Producer said, well, it's gonna be too expensive, and no. So they hired Eddie Murphy, and that movie became the Beverly Hills Cop that we all know. But Stallone took some of his ideas and made the cop movie he wanted to make, Cobra. And yep, it was big and explosive. And of course, panned by the critics for two violence and blah, blah, blah. And they had to make a pile of cuts just to get it from an X rating to an R rating. So I can't imagine how awesomely gruesome the original cut is. Yikes. Please, someone release it. But it made a pile of money, making $160 million off its $25 million budget and has achieved the cult status. Now, Cobra is exactly what you think and hope it will be. Big action, hollow characters, plenty of 80s, and a montage. And at 89 minutes, it's an easy watch. It's fun and by no means should be taken seriously and really wasn't even when it came out back in 1986. But again, it was exactly what you would hope it would be and it delivered. So definitely watch it and enjoy it for all its cheesiness. Leave your brain at the door and you will be entertained. Good disease. And I'm the cure. It's not personal. It's strictly business. Let's kick it. I'll say kick it, and you'll just kick it with a tasty groove, okay? One, two, three, kick it. Kick it, come on. God damn it. God, Kyle! Could you one time kick it? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You stay classy.